Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Hexbreaker, where we'll be continuing our playthrough of the Circle Undone storyline for Arkham Horror, the card game. Tonight, we're going to be playing Union and Disillusion, which is the sixth scenario of the Circle Undone story. So the stories lately is that our intrepid investigators, Jenny and Patrice, they're due to um, attend and help out in a binding ritual which will take place on the Unvisited Isle, which is kind of a no-man's land, um, an island um, on the Miskatonic River itself. And the river divides the downtown and Rivertown neighborhoods of Arkham City. They're heading there to uh, assist the Silver Twilight Lodge, which is a um, gentleman's club slash hermetic order that uh, resides within Arkham. We pick up our story on a rowboat. We're uh, there rowing along, yeah, rowing along the river towards the unvisited isle, along with one Diana Stanley, who's a, uh, a fellow member of the Silver Twilight Lodge. Over the past month or so, Miss um, Stanley here, she's she's expressed some um, ca she's expressed some um, misgivings about the um, upper levels of Silver Twilight leadership and uh, their motives, and. On this boat ride tonight, Diana goes from insinuating that President Carl Sanford may have some ulterior motives um, to outright expressing that Jenny and Patrice should be uh, cautious when dealing with the president. She thinks that um, there's more to him than he seems, and he's been known to uh, be treacherous from time to time. So Jenny and Patrice lately have they've had some uh, some rough dealings. Um, they've been kind of been thrown in harm's way by the Silver Twilight Lodge. So they're not, they're a bit nervous about, um, about siding with them in this particular, uh, in this um, particular event here. But nevertheless, they need to, um, they need to stop the Watcher from uh, terrorizing all of Arkham. It's been the, uh, there's been this unnatural fog that's blanketed the city day and night and uh, people are, are uh, starting to uh, disappear at an alarming rate. Okay, so we um, let's take a look at the decks that we're going to be using tonight. <coughs> Since last scenario, uh, Jenny Barnes, I've decided to upgrade her with um, pickpocketing. So this uh, this card is very strong uh, because it it's an engine for drawing cards and getting money. Uh, as you may recall, We've um, included two copies of the card suggestion, which uh, helps her evade pretty evade enemies pretty reliably. So pickpocketing is gonna kind of pay out whenever she uh, evades an enemy. And kind of along that tack, I've uh, included a copy of Lucky Cigarette Case as well, in order to um, draw cards when we um, either shoot things or evade things or even investigate. And I've also gone ahead and uh, spent some experience points on a copy of Sure Gamble. This is just a generally useful rogue card because it can, you know, it can turn really nasty token pulls into successes. Um, sure Gamble means that you can go into a test, testing at say um, two over the uh, difficulty of the test, knowing that if a bad token comes up you're covered. It's kind of like the survivor's lucky, but uh, it kind of it covers a lot of um, a lot of situations. Okay, so that is Jenny. Now over to Patrice. I've spent her experience points on adding a second copy of um, the upgraded Rise to the Occasion to her deck. Uh, as I mentioned last scenario, um, level three Rise to the Occasion, it effectively takes any of her lore, combat, or evasion checks and makes her two over the difficulty because um, the special ability, the text of Rise to the Occasion is going to kind of make up the gap and then the two wild icons on the card itself are going to put her over. So this is a this is a particularly strong card and it's very generally useful. The other thing I've done is I've included two cop added two copies of Rite of Seeking. So one thing I've noticed about Patrice is that I've been relying a lot on um, what's it? Sixth Sense to, in order to uh, in order to have her do investigations. But I've noticed Sixth Sense is a bit slow, so I'm gonna try out Rite of Seeking because each action spent on using Rite of Seeking will discover two clues instead of one. So um, hopefully this means that she'll be able to um, 
rely on this and rely on the survivor card winging it in order to discover clues uh, more quickly than one clue per action. I've been noticing that Patrice in general, I've been having trouble with something called action compression, which is trying to get more than one thing done in a single action. And I think Rite of Seeking is going to help achieve that, where uh, Sixth Sense, you only, um, you only receive one clue with each successful investigate check. So it's just not fast enough. All right, so I'll shuffle these into the deck. Okay, so let's take a look at, um, uh oh, where'd our agenda go? Oh, there's our agenda. Come back, agenda. There it is. Okay, so let's take a look at what Jenny and Patrice need to do tonight. Agenda one, the lovers six. You are at a crossroads. Reflect on the choices you have made. You shall be confronted with a terrible dilemma. Okay, so we have eight doom before bad things happen to us. So that's, uh, that's quite a ways. All right, so what do we need to do here? Act one, the unvisited isle. The foggy shores of the unvisited isle are barren and unwelcoming. Not a soul greets you as you draw closer to the island, save for the judging gaze of ghostly birds that observe you from the trees. In the distance, the pillar of spectral energy is rising into the clouds, a vortex of otherworldly mist spiraling about it. So the Silver Twilight Lodge's um, binding ritual has begun. And uh, in order to help them out, Jenny and Patrice are going to need to uh, get six, simply six clues. So that seems simple enough. They need to uh, get, onto the, uh, get onto the island and um, find six clues. So one thing else that we're going to do here is that... Um, the uh, the island locations, starting with the Forbidding Shore, there is a special mechanic in this scenario where um, you can light brazier braziers, and um, I'm going to be using these candles to represent uh, lit braziers as we uh, go along. Okay, so I think that covers setup, so let's draw opening hands. Okay, here we go. Let's start with Jetty Barnes here. All right. Hide that. All right, we don't want that. So let's see what we get here. Hmm. So we've got high roll on lucky cigarette case. That's good for us getting started, but we really could use some weaponry. Yeah, I think weaponry is going to be important, or at least a fingerprint kit. So I'll mulligan those three away, and let's see what we get. Nope, not that. Well, we got little Santiago, which kind of counts for um, you know, it's an it's an asset that <laughs> it doesn't count as weaponry. It counts as an asset. Okay, so I'm thinking. We're probably going to go just play some assets on our first turn. Okay, now let's see what Patrice gets. All right, here we go. Once again, we are looking... Oh, we're looking for assets like those two right there. This seems like a pretty great opening hand, actually. Except for this water protection. We don't need that. Um, I don't want to mulligan too hard because I don't want to draw into a third asset that I'm not going to be able to play. So I'll just... Yep, there we go. That's That seems okay. So that way her first turn could be Emergency Cash, David Renfeld, Shriveling. Okay, so we're ready to go here. Oh, one thing I should also note, since uh, three heretics um, fled into Arkham during um, Wages of Sin, we've got three Doom out of eight already, so we actually don't have as much time as I thought we did. All right, well, here we go. Yeah. So we start at the Miskatonic River on our little rowboat. It sways gently along the current of the rippling water. The river is deep and dark, and you find yourself suddenly wondering how many bodies might lie forgotten along the riverbed, never to be seen again. Okay, that's a little spooky. Okay, so we can resign. That's good. That's good. Um, and there's five shroud for whatever reason. Despite the urgency of your uh, of your task, you find yourself rowing quietly as though trying to avoid disturbing the river. Okay, so we're going to have to move in in order to um, get started. We need six clues. And then there's going to be something about lighting braziers. All right, so let's let's get started here. I think Jenny, we're just going to put down some uh, put down some assets, and we'll be we'll be all set. So we're going to go first action, little Santiago. Second action, high roller. Third action, lucky cigarette case, and that's going to cost us a total of seven resources. Okay, pretty straightforward. All right, and Patrice, we'll do first action, emergency cash. Second action, David Renfeld. We'll use David Renfeld. Yeah. I think we can, uh, we'll get rid of him soon enough. Okay, that gives us, so we went to eight, yep, there we go. And then third action, play shriveling. So now we are, at least one of us is armed up. 
Okay, so that is all of our actions. So we'll go straight to drawing cards and getting resources. Oh, fingerprint kit. Very nice. Jenny's going to be able to get started. And then Patrice will be able to protect her with the shriveling. So we'll get a new hand here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got another ally. We can, we've can. we got a cancellation. Okay, and we've got some skill stuff. Okay, so we're in decent shape. Oh, i got to take a resource. All right. Did I do that right? Yep, that's correct. Okay. All right, new turn. So now we're at five doom out of eight already. So let's see what we get. Okay, we've got, oh, a nether mist. Well, that's a way to start things off. Pray. Okay, so she draws it. Praise on the investigator, the location of the most clues. Okay, that doesn't matter. Oh, it's aloof. Okay. Okay, so it just makes the place haunted. We beseech the dead, but do we really wish to see them? We could just slay it right now and get the, just get it out of the way. I'll consider it. And we have a whippoorwill. Oh, dear. Another aloof thing. Each of us here, whip rules. Oh no! So these have these are making an appearance from back in the Dunwich Legacy. They're just gonna hound us, and I guess both these things are just gonna hound us and uh, cause trouble. <coughs> okay, so I think what we'll do, um, let's have let's have Jenny get started, and sorry, I had some lag there. Let's have Jenny get started. Let's probably head into the uh, Forbidding Shore, Forbidding Shore, and let's see if there's any clues there. As you land on the shore of the island, a flock of birds chatter from the treetops, admonishing you for your trespass. You intrude nonetheless, ignoring the many warnings and indicators that you should turn away. All right, so we're going to have Jenny... Yep, we'll have her move in. We'll see what's here. Okay. Okay, so it's got two clues, and it's got a circle action. So we can test test willpower or lore at three to find... <coughs> Find the brazier by the wooded trail. If you succeed, you may unlight or unlight it. Okay, and then it's also haunted. Okay, so it's got three shroud and two clues. So if we go second action fingerprint kit, third action investigate, we'll be at five versus three, which isn't so great, um, especially when that... Well, I guess the haunted isn't that bad. Yeah, five versus three isn't so bad. Hmm. Wish I had enough resources to pay for high roller, but yeah, we'll just do that. All right, second action, play fingerprint kit. Okay, and third action, we'll use our fingerprint kit and we'll test at five versus three. Okay, here we go. I don't want to pitch in the intel report because we're going to need that for <coughs> bigger tests. Okay, that is a success by three, so I'll use the lucky cigarette case to draw a card, okay, and then get both clues. Okay, so that went well. Okay, we drew an easy mark. Okay, so over to Patrice. Do we have anything that's really important to play? Agatha Parker is probably going to be nice because she can keep mon monsters like this thing off of us. So that's probably a good idea. We'll start by using David Redfeld. Uh, whoops. Okay, so first action I'll play Agatha Parker. Okay, and she's going to... She's someone we picked up in the fan-made scenario, Blood Spilled in Salem. She's been uh, helping us ever since. Okay. Hmm. So those things are going to follow us. I don't think it's worth shriveling them yet. So I guess we can uh, second action move, third action. We're not, we're not going to be able to get to use these rise to the occasions and prophesize. Yeah, sadly enough. Yeah. So I guess we'll go second action, Ace of Rods. Okay. And then third action, let's move in. Okay. Well, we could test, we could do the circle action instead of Ace of Rods. Let's see, what's her willpower at? Her willpower is at five. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that instead. Whoops. Okay. So instead of playing Ace of Rods, I'll go third action. I'll make this circle test. Okay. So we are going to be at 5 versus 3. Okay. How much Doom is in play? There's 5 Doom in play. So this will be 6, 7, 8 versus 3. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, we succeed by a lot. And uh, we light this brazier right here. Okay, ah, there we go. Okay, so that one is lit. Okay. Yep, I have a feeling that's going to become really necessary. Um, 
as time goes on. But it made a good thing for her to do, especially before these things um, follow. All right, so that's our that's all our actions. So um, these creatures follow us, and they don't engage us. And then now we'll draw cards and get resources. Okay, pickpocketing, nice. All right, so if monsters show up, Jenny is ready to go. All right, and then we'll get a resource and go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's our watcher for another dimension. Oh, and she is ready to get clues. Sadly, she needs to be somewhere to get the clues. I don't think she's going to be able to use both of them. Yeah, because she's going to go, like, stargazing, like, move, stargazing, move, drawn to the flame. That would be about the best it gets. Okay. All right, new turn. So we go to six doom out of eight. All right, let's see what we've got. Realm of Torment, put into play in your threat area. Ooh, when your turn begins, resolve each haunted ability on your location. That is kind of nasty because right now she has to lose two resources and get attacked at the start of her turn. So that is kind of awful. All right, what do we got here? A Shadow Hound. Okay, so we have. So we've already got stuff to deal with. It has three hit points. It's not hard to evade, though. Okay, so maybe we can use pickpocketing to uh, get around it, you know, to help get some mi get some mileage here. Okay, so we. So the problem with Patrice going, if Patrice went first, she would get hit by both haunted locate by both haunted abilities. So she'd get attacked, and she would lose two resources, I guess. Okay. Okay, she, it won't engage. Hmm. So she can get attacked, we can move away and then do stuff. That's probably the best way to go about it. It'll also get us away from this whippoorwill. We've also got this thing to, to worry about. So I'm thinking maybe Jenny will evade this thing. Then we can go move somewhere else. Okay, so I'm thinking Patrice will go... Um, first action, move. Second action, stargazing. Third action, we'll maybe do Drawn to the Flame. Okay, that's a plan. All right, so the start of Patrice's turn, she gets attacked by the Nether Mist, so she'll take a damage and a horror. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think I'm quite ready to get rid of David Renfeld yet. We are at, what, 60 out of 8? Yeah, we're, I think we're going to have another opportunity. We'll use David Renfeld to get a resource. Okay, she also loses either an action or two resources, so we'll lose two resources. All right, first action, move away. Let's see what's here. All right. Okay, we've lit the bri we've lit the bridger at the forbidding shore, forbidding shore, so we can move here. Okay. Oh, it's worth a victory point. Okay, so as a circle test, you can test brains and fists at 11 to clear a path through the woods. If you succeed, you may light or unlight the brazier. Haunted, you must either search the encounter deck for a whippoorwill, or then just whippoorwill attacks you. Yikes. Okay, so we could... What's the shroud on it? It's only two. So I think we'll, we'll go with the stargazing, drawn to the flame plan. Yeah, although Jenny's not going to have too, too much of a... Then Jenny could maybe follow? Hmm. Although, what are, what's her... Uh, she could do the circle test? She's right now, she's at 7 versus 11 on the circle test. Okay, if I go stargazing, then pitch in last chance. Nah, it's still not that great. Okay. All right, well, we're definitely going to do second action stargazing. Because that is handy. Let's uh, put that in the top of this deck. Okay, two, three, five, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, so that was second action. Okay. Third action. I'll have to take an encounter card if I do draw into the flame. That's kind of the, the awful part. Could also evade this guy. With last chance, that would put me at four versus five. And that sounds awful. Okay, so uh, draw into the flame it is. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay. Each location. Ooh, gets haunted, take a horror. Ooh, okay. All right, that's not so bad, and then we'll get two clues. Okay, so we have four of six clues that we need to advance here. Okay, end of her turn, she tests against Realm of Torment. So right now she's at a five. Let's go six, seven, eight. Eight against three. Okay, um, that's a cultist, so 
minus three, and if you have no damage on you, take a damage. Oh, this could uh, this could keep coming back. So I'll just put a damage on her. That way, she's immune to that from uh, here on out. Okay. But we succeed, so it's gone. <clears throat> okay, so now we move over to Jenny. We could join Patrice and get those last two clues. Hmm. Oh, we also gotta. Well, we gotta start by evading this thing. Okay, so right now we are evading at four versus one, which is pretty good. Fast action, I'll put the pickpocketing down. Whoops. So that way, well, we're still at four versus one, but, you know, we get rewards if we uh, successfully do it. So first action evade. That is a minus three, so we succeed. Um, and then I will... I'll take a resource because I'm kind of I'm kind of low on resources right now. Yep, that is a minus three. So we successfully evade the Shadowhound. All right, so here's the question. Do we join Patrice or do we go to this other invisited isle? I think with all these guys following us, we might want to stick together. So we, because if any more show up, we're going to need to clear them out. That being said, Jetty's pretty good at evading. Yeah, let's, let's stick together. Okay. Second action, go here. Third action, use the fingerprint kit. So we're going to be at one, two, three, four, five versus two. Okay. Five minus three, so we succeed again. And but we don't get our lucky cigarette case, but we get two clues. Oh, I could have had Patrice pitch in, but we wouldn't we would only succeeded by one. Alright. Okay, so we have all six of our, of our clues. That's great, but I'm not gonna advance just yet. I'll wait till next turn. Although and I might wait till turn after that based on what encounter cards we draw. Okay, so that's all our actions. So hunters hunt over to here. Okay, and now we'll draw cards and get resources. Ooh, another pickpocketing. That's good to see. Okay, that goes away, and we get a new hand. Oh, oh there's a weak weakness. Black Book and Miss Doyle. So we're pretty crowded here. We can actually afford both of them. And that also Black Book also represents an opportunity to get rid of David Renfeld. I like it. All right, new turn, because we're at seven doom out of eight, so now would be the time to get rid of David Renfeld. Okay, what do we got? Eager for death. Oh, dear. Um, so we got to test this. Okay, so the difficulty is going to be three, and we are at a five. We have lucky in case things go bad. Okay, success. All right, what do we got over here? Marked for death. Okay, so this is going to be diff ooh, against difficulty four. Four versus four, and if we fail, take two damage. Ooh. Hmm. Oops, he should be there. Let's see, am I going to need the high roller for anything else this turn? Now let's test it. Eh, this could also be really bad if we... A spectral enemy attacks you. All right, we'll use the high roller. So now we're at six versus four. Ouch. So we fail. Okay, and we take two damage. Let's do like that. Okay, that was kind of awful. But what can you do? Okay. So we have some stuff to get rid of, and plus this is going to come chase us. All right. Um, Patrice needs to play, play, spend two actions playing assets. That means her third action, she could shrivel something. Hmm. That's gone. Wish Jenny had a weapon to make this work. Yeah, using that high roller was kind of a mistake here. We also have a circle test we got to do eventually. All right. So I'm thinking we'll go... I'd like to shrivel something. Not that, because it's got four hit points. If Jenny had a way to do some damage, that would be really good right now. Oh, we've also got this. Oh, wow, so Jenny really failed that. Oops, I forgot about the Wiper Wills. All right, so let's... Okay, I think we're just going to have to walk away from these guys. I don't know if we're in a good enough place to deal with them. All right, so we'll have Jenny move. Yeah, this seems good. Then we'll evade the, spectra the Shadow Hound. We are at four versus one. I wish I could play this. Uh, this four, so we succeed by three. Trigger this, get a card. Okay, uh, trigger this, get a card and a resource. All right. That seems pretty good, and he's evaded. All right, so that was second action. I'm 
think in third action we'll move over here. Uh, we should get to play our weapon, but next turn we'll get to play our weapon. If only I didn't waste that high roller. All right, third action we'll move over. Let's see what we get. Okay, moss covered steps also worth a victory point. And this circle action is fists and feet at ten. All right, and it's worth, yeah, it's worth a victory point. That's good. Okay, so that was all three of our actions. So Patrice, we're definitely going to go. I think Black Book, Miss Doyle, move. I think is going to be the plan here. Yeah. Since we're going to get rid of David Renfeld this turn, I can afford to put a Doom on him and get two resources. Okay. So first action, we'll play back. We'll play Black Book. Okay. Second action, I'll use the Black Book at a one point discount. So that way, I deal a horror to David Renfeld and play Miss Doyle. Okay, so that is dealt with. All right, and let's get a cat. Which cat do we get? We get hope. Hope will help us evade things, and then these two go in the deck. Okay, evasion's good. So if hope is going to help us evade things, we could just get rid of the watcher right now just auto succeed at it. Yeah, that way these two won't follow Jenny around. I like it. All right, so third action, we'll get rid of the we'll um use hope, discard her to automatically succeed at evading the watcher. So that is done. All right, so that was all three all of our actions here. These two are going to stick around. Yeah. Okay, these two are going to stick around. This is going to refresh. All right, so let's do cards and resources. All right, Jenny's got a pretty full hand here. Patrice gets a new and full hand. Oh, we got an open gate. Not sure. That'll probably be useful. All right, another David Renfeld. Haha, <laughs> after the agenda advances, but that's not going to happen. Or I could just play him and then use him later. <coughs> or, but then again, we're in the witching hour. So maybe now's the time to use it. All right, new turn. Seven doom out of eight. And let's see what we get. Oh, the stars are right. Okay, so what do we need to accomplish this turn? We need to get some clues. We'd like to get that check out. So I'm thinking we're gonna, I'm gonna give it to Patrice because I'd like to get rid of these. Um, these are gonna dog us all game. We've got shriveling to help deal with them. So maybe in Patrice's case, I go, I use the stars are right to engage the nether mist. Now I'll use it to play David Renfeld, because with David Renfeld out, that'll give me another willpower for, um, and then I can go engage the nether mist and then shrivel it twice. Okay, and that'll just, that'll just get rid of that. Yeah, it is a loss of a whole turn, uh, but then again, yeah, I'll be able, and I'll have enough to be able to play the open gate and David Renfeld. Okay, this is going to work. All right, so Patrice picks herself, gets a resource, ooh, track shoes crap and I get an access I get a I get a um, I get an action you know during that action I'll just go ahead and advance and let's see what happens during the bonus action all right let's do that let's see what happens here the mist returns you venture deeper and deeper into the overgrown woods a timid voice in the back of your mind urging you to flee this place and never return the dark mist becomes so dense you can hardly see anything. You shout for any of your companions, but there is no response, just the sway of dying tree branches in the wind and the thump of your heart pounding in your chest. Each investigator must randomly choose one of the set-aside unvisited aisle locations, put it into play in front of him or her, and immediately move to that location. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Shuffle each the story. Okay. Okay, so stuff's going to happen here. Um... Yeah, stuff stuff is going to happen, and we're going to learn the fate of Gabriella and Valentino. So I'm going to set all of that up, and I'll be right back. All right, so we have set up for the advancement of Act 1 here. Jenny has found herself at the Haunted Spring, which is going to have four clues on it, but only sh and only be Shroud 2, which is pretty good. And then we're going to have a circle test to uh, reach the brazier in the center of the spring. Okay, that's uh, lore and agility. That's one she can actually uh, do pretty well. 
And also, she runs into Valentino Rivas. Took you long enough. Okay. Valentino limps out of the mist, leaning on a nearby tree. He chuckles morbidly as he spots Jenny. Cavalry's finally here, eh? So she takes control of Valentino Rivas, and it doesn't take it up an ally slot. And then he is he is obviously alive. So that's good. We found we found one of the missing persons. However, over here, we find Gabriella's weapon lying in the grass, decayed and broken. It's a uh, 45 automatic. No other sign of her can be seen. So, well, we found one of them, but we know what happened. The Watcher took them, and one of them made it, one of them did not. Okay, so this is all happening. This is all happening during the Stars Are Right. Um, let's see what Patrice has here. All right, she only has one shroud to deal with and get four clues, and she needs to do a willpower and um, evasion check to light the brazier. Okay, so let's. Um, she still has an action from Stars Are Right. So I guess our plan of engaging the uh, Nether Mist uh, is out the door, and uh, we should probably advance here. Okay, immediately move to that location. All right, Act Two: Faded Souls. The trap set by the Silver Twilight Lodge has drawn the attention of the Spectral Realm and its inhabitants. One way or another, those who were trapped in the mist will end up here. Each investigator cannot leave the location in front of him or her. Okay, so one, of, so we need to get four clues between the two of them. I'd like to get all eight because they're worth victory points. So we're in one of those, we're in a situation just like in, um, just like in the Witching Hour where they are basically by themselves. Okay. Let's see connections though. So they can't leave the location in front of them, but are they are these locations still connected? I guess so. All right, so hunters are still going to hunt into them. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Okay. And uh okay, so she still has an action here. Uh we're in the witching hours. So playing David Renfeld is probably a good plan. Yeah, I can do that. Track shoes would be cool. Track shoes would be cool to have, though. Both are good. All right, we're playing David Renfeld as our bonus action. Okay, and I'll go ahead and use them during the action window. All right. Okay, so now we'll end the action, and we'll go over to Jenny. Jenny draws Psychopomp's Song. Ooh, it surges. Okay, when you would take one more damage, take two additional damage. Ouch. And it surges, which is double ouch. All right, what do we got here? A Spectral Raven. Oof. All right, so after it engages her, which it does, she must either resolve each haunted ability in her location or give it plus two fight and plus two evade. She must either discard an asset she controls or take a damage. But then when she takes a damage, she takes three damage. Ouch. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. So I can either take three damage and let made it, leave it at two, 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 or I can take no damage and have it be 424. I think I'll let it be, let it, you know, be 424, because three damage is a lot. Yikes. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Okay, so Patrice needs to, she doesn't have any multi-cluing here, which is kind of bad. These things are going to keep hunting. Yeah, these things are that's interesting. They all kind of are, they're all kind of connected to each other. Okay. So this thing's going to hunt into lowest. So she's going to hunt, he's going to hunt Patrice, which means if she doesn't get rid of hypochondria, he's going to hit her for a damage and a horror. Is it a monster? It is. Okay. So Agatha Parker can hold it back. All right. So I'm thinking I'll go probably get rid of hypochondria and play the track shoes. Play track shoes and play open gate. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, or what are our odds of dealing with this test? Okay, so right now we're at four, five, six, seven, eight versus eight versus 11. Eight versus 11. 9, 10. No, not good enough. Yeah, not good enough. We're going to need some extra help here. Okay, so let's 
let's uh, discard the spend two actions to discard a Phychondria. Use the black book. I want to get out open gate. So we'll play the track shoes at a two resource discount. Put one horror on Miss Doyle and one horror on ourselves. Okay. Then play open gate as a fast action. Okay. So that way we'll be able to, once she's able to establish another gate somewhere else, she'll be able to come back here. I'm not sure how useful that's actually going to be this game. Okay. So that is all three of her actions. Two actions for hypochondria, one for track shoes. Okay, so over to Jenny here. We have a monster to deal with. We're probably going to need to evade it. Okay, Valentino, he's going to give us some soak. And we can spend two resources and exhaust him to reduce the difficulty of the test. I don't think I want to do that because I've got high roller. All right, so if we go to evade it, which we should do because we can't really afford much else, we'll be at three, four, five, six, seven versus four with high roller. I kind of like those odds. Yeah, those, those, that feels pretty good. All right, so we'll use high, we'll use high roller. So we'll be at three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I can't afford to put in this pickpocketing, but that's okay. Seven versus four minus two, so we succeed by one. Do I use this pickpocketing? Yeah, I'll go ahead and use this pickpocketing to get a resource. That's the only thing I'm going to evade this turn. Okay, it's evaded, and then I get back my high roller resources. Okay. Second action, play Enchanted Blade. Okay, so after it engages you, I see. So this is it's so when it refreshes, it's still gonna be it's gonna be four two four again. So I think I'll, if I attack it, I'll be at five versus four. Not the best. Maybe I'm gonna wait till next turn and let my high roller um, recharge. So I think we'll just look for uh, look for clues here. Okay, so we're gonna be at. Let's see, three, four, five versus two, if I use the fingerprint kit. Uh, seems, odds seem pretty good. Success. Uh, all right, three versus, so we are at five versus two, minus one is a is four versus two, we succeed by two. Okay, and then get two clues. Okay, we need four clues to advance, that's right. All right, so we go to enemy phase. We're gonna have some hunters. So this thing is gonna come and come after Patrice. Because Patrice has the lowest, yeah, she has, yeah, she has the lowest um, evasion right now. Hmm. They're all gonna come after us. Three damage. It's an awkward number. Yeah, I think we'll just have it come after Patrice. Well, it has to. All right, so it does. It comes after Patrice and deals eight damage to David Renfeld. Okay. And what do we do with, and these two also are going to hunt. Okay, this one goes to location with the most clues. Investigator at the location. So this is also going to hunt Patrice. This is going to hunt one of them. I guess we can also do Patrice. Sure. All right, so Patrice has a lot of baddies on her. One of them is a whippoorwill. So kind of awful to deal with. Okay. Jenny, and then Jenny's going to have this thing to deal with. Let's see, when it engages you until the end of the investigation phase. All right, so we're going to make it 4 2 4 again because I don't want to take three damage. Okay, so let's go to cards and resources. Okay, things are starting to get a little hairy here. Okay, glad we have another weapon for when this one runs out. And then new hand for Patrice. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, quick thinking. That's going to be pretty nice. Okay. Quick thinking, violin. Yeah, we've got some good stuff here. Yep. All right. Oh, and the uh, blinding light. That's going to be handy, too. Okay. New turn. We advance. Okay, make sure to clean off David Renfeld's doom. Then make sure to refresh everything. That's That goes until she takes damage, doesn't it? Yep. All right, here we go. We advance. What do we got? Stolen souls. The mist obscures the moon, plunging the woods into darkness. A flock of birds suddenly scatter from the treetops. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. All right. Let's see. Check missing person section. Nobody was taken by the watcher. So that's good. Okay. And let's see what happens here. Crossroads of fate. 
As you continue through the woods, you notice the dark mist, which has permeated the island, is starting to drift away from the shoreline toward the center of the island, where the beacon of spectral en energy still rises into the sky. Okay, so it sounds like the Watcher's coming. We have ten Doom to work with. All right, so let's draw our encounter cards and see what happens. Terror in the night. All right, so this is one if we fail it, it's not that bad, but we don't want to fail it by too much. Okay, so currently we're at four, five, six, um, down to five, thanks to the Whippoorwill, versus four. That's not so bad. Yeah, we're at five versus four. Yeah, that seems okay. Action window opens, use David Renfeld, in case bad things end up occurring. Okay, so do I want to put in Defiance here? I could put in Defiance and Quick Thinking. Now I'll use those on our, on our action. So we are at four, five, six, down to five versus four. What do we got? Minus two. We fail by one. Okay, so we put it in play next to the agenda deck. I'll just put it down here. All right, and over here we get an Ancient Evils. I'll cancel that with Ward of Protection, okay, and deal a horror to Patrice. Yeah, I'm going to have to start using Agatha's um, horror ability. Maybe to hold some of these things off. Probably could have held that off with it. Oh well. Okay, canceled the uh, word of protection. All right. So what do we need to do? We need to get these two clues, and probably uh, reach the reach the brace here, and then we also need to advance. Okay. Oh, Jenny has this thing to deal with first. Do I evade it or, and get pickpocketings, or do I just attack it? If I attack it, I'm at five versus four. Six, seven versus four with high roller. That actually seems pretty good. Oh yeah, I could have just discarded an asset. Like this one. I'll do that instead. Okay, so when that engaged me, we'll say I discarded the fingerprint kit. So now it's only two to a fight. I forgot about that part. All right, so we'll attack it at five versus two. I feel pretty good about this now. Okay, five, do I wanna to go to six, seven versus two? No, that's okay. All right, don't miss. Okay, minus three, so I hit it on the nose. Okay, so that means, it doesn't trigger the lucky cigarette case, so this is gone. All right, that's good. Okay, now we have this to deal with. Um, oh, I could really use another resource to play another fingerprint kit. So is it easy mark time? Oh, that takes an action. Could just investigate normally, and then use a little Santiago. I could try for the brazier test. Okay, that seems pretty good. All right, so if I were to go for the for the circle test here, I'd be at, let's see, it is book, it is lore and and athletics. So I am at six, seven, eight, nine, nine versus nine, ten, eleven with high roller. Okay, so my odds are pretty decent. 11 with high roller. I want to be four over for this though. Might have to use the intel report for that. The intel report's good there. Oh, I'm at a full hand, so I think I'll use the intel report after all. Could also pitch this easy mark. I think I will. Okay, so second action, we're going to take the circle test. Use high roller. Okay, and then we're going to pitch in easy mark. So we're going to be at six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve versus nine. Is that correct? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen versus nine. Forgot about Valentino. Thirteen versus nine. That is, we succeed by one. So that's so we don't get lucky cigarette case, but we pass this circle test and light it. Okay. All right, we get our our high roller resources back. Okay, third action. I think we'll just go ahead and investigate. Investigate at four versus two. Seems okay. Four uh, minus two, so that's a success. And then I'll buy a clue with Lola Santiago. Okay, so we could advance, but I don't think I will yet. I think I'll do that next turn. Okay, over to Patrice. Patrice has some shriveling to do. That is exact, and hopefully some quick thinking will help. All right, so what we need to do, we need to shrivel, definitely need to get rid of this thing. Yeah, or we could evade that thing. That's the thing. That is the thing. Oh, she was supposed to resolve haunted abilities on her location. 
Okay, so when it attacked her, it was the Witching Hour. So we'll say I placed a Doom on that location at the time. So no change needed. Okay. Hmm. So we could evade the, the Hound. Because it takes two shriveling shots. It's kind of ugly. We could evade the Hound, hope quick thinking fires, engage the other mist and shrivel it twice. It's not a bad plan. We got this thing to deal with, though. Hmm. Let's see. I'd also like to put the violin into play. Yeah. Yeah, not enough actions to do everything I want. Let's see. Well, I'd like to get rid of some of these because she can't leave yet. Could shrivel this twice. Engage that and then shrivel that. Hmm. That's too many actions. Could blinding light this guy. That seems even better. Yeah, if I blinding light this guy, I do two damage to it, animate it. Which is actually pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, that seems like a plan, actually. All right, first action, I'll blinding light this guy. Okay, so I'm going to be at four, five, six. Six to evade. Minus one is five. So I'm at five versus one to evade. Put in quick thinking. We'll go to six versus one to evade. Uh, six minus two is four versus one, so I succeed by three. So I get get an extra action. And this guy's evaded with two damage on it. Oh, that was a skull, wasn't it? Ouch. Which means I take something bad. I lose an action, take a horror. Okay, so I have two actions left. And I lose a horror. Ugh. <laughs> Lost my quick thinking bonus. But he has two actions on he has two damage on him. Alright, two actions left. Thinking we could play the violin. Or I, could, or I can get rid of the Whippoorwill. Violin's just good, though. Yeah, I can use that to get a resource. Oh, i got to use Black Book to play the violin. Yeesh. Yuck. Or I can just get rid of the Whippoorwill. Second action, engage the Whippoorwill. Third action, punch the Whippoorwill. P pitch in everything. It's not the worst thing in the world. Actually, it's kind of bad. All right, second action, engage the Whippoorwill. Yeah, because I lost an action to the Blinding Light. Third action, Shrivel the Whippoorwill. Okay, so I'm going to be at 4, 5, 6, minus 1 is 5 versus 2. Let's go to 6, 7 versus 2, since I'm not going to need those to any, for anything else. Oh, ouch. All right, so um, I take a Horror. Okay, that's no good. Oh, I could have evaded that guy. Yuck. All right, I'll put a horror here. Okay, so that did not go well. Okay, enemy face. The whipper will attacks for a horror. Yuck. This thing engages. That thing stays there. Okay, uh, cards and resources. Card and two resources. Patrice is in a bit of trouble. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, up oh, there's right of seeking. I wish I had that when I didn't have a bunch of I wish I drew that when I didn't have a bunch of monsters on me. But we have winging it. That's good to see. Alright, new turn. One doom out of ten. Make that two, thanks to David Renfeld. What do we got? Death approaches. Oh dear. When you take horror, take an additional take two additional horror and discard it. Ow. I think I'm gonna give it give that to Jenny. Okay. Another psychopomp song. Uh She'll keep that for herself. Yeah, if she takes some damage, she's going to get blasted. Okay. Oh, they both surge, don't they? Goodness gracious. All right. Whispers in the dark. Each location gets haunted. Okay. We'll just put that right there. And then we got this again. All right. So we want to, we don't want to, we're okay with failing it, but not by three or more. So currently we're at three versus four.
three versus four. We'll put in guts and we'll go to five versus four. Let's go to seven versus four. Okay, so we succeed. Uh, so we, we make six versus four, so we succeed by two and get a card. Okay, easy mark, that is good to see. Okay, so we have enough clues to advance. If I do that now, maybe we'll warp back to, uh, you know, we'll rescue Patrice here, or Jenny can come help out. Let's do that. All right, so we'll advance before um, anything ha else happens. Okay, let's see what happens here. From the depths, before long, the Revenant arrives. Oh, goodness. We just spawned the spectral, we're spawning the spectral watcher. That's not good. It rises from the depths of the Miskatonic River, unfazed by the water or the mist. Sensing fear and blood, it glides slowly toward the island with its arm outstretched. Its gaze brings dismay, its gasp brings death. Okay, spawn the spectral watcher at the Miskatonic River. Okay, so we, yep, we have some stuff going on. So I'll, uh, I'll set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so a lot has changed here. We have, let's see, they, the, um, lo the location, the fog is lifted, I think. And so the locations are connected again. This means that Patrice can come over. Uh, sorry, uh, Patrice can uh, be helped by Jenny. Okay, so let's see what we need. We also have, by the way, a, a spectral watcher that's hunting us. So it is currently connected to the Forbidding Shore. And then from the Forbidding Shore, it could go to pretty much any of these locations. Yeah, anything except the guy's tra trapped directly. So this thing's going to be coming after us pretty soon. Okay. Um, yep, now Jenny's going to... So that means Jenny... This means Jenny can help out. That's good. All right, so what do we need to do now? Beyond the Mist. You are close to the site of the Binding Ritual. You must light the braziers to find the way. Then all that is left to do is bait the Watcher to the trap and bind it there. Okay, so as a fast action, during a circle action, spend a clue to reduce the difficulty of the skill test by two. Oh, that is really handy. Not only is um, are these clues going to help us get victory points, but they're going to also help us pass the circle test. That is good. And then if each unvisited aisle location in play is revealed and the brazier on each of them is lit, we advance. Okay, so we just need to light the braziers on this one, this one, and this one. Okay, that sounds good. <coughs> okay, so let's get started. I think Jenny needs to come bail out Patrice here. So we'll have Jenny first action move in. And let's get rid of the Whippoorwill. So she doesn't need to use a charge to deal one damage to the Whippoorwill. She's at four normally by attacking with the Enchanted Blade. So th three, only three because of the Whippoorwill. Okay, so if we go to, we can go to four or five with Overpower. And this is really important. So we'll go to six with Prophesy. Uh, while there's an action window, I'll go ahead and use David Renfeld. Okay, so we're at six versus two. That that looks pretty good. Okay, oh, super success. Okay, so we discard the Whippoorwill. That's great. Okay, anything else trigger? Not really. Okay. Okay, so Jenny has one action left. We could also stab the Shadowhound, get rid of that. So do we do, I think we'll, oh, and I got a card off of Overpower. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. No, oh, I'm going to have a, my hand's going to be too big in a second here. Probably just play the pickpocketing to uh, compensate. All right, so let's stab this shadow hand here because it only needs one hit point. So if I attack with the enchanted blade, I'm at four versus two. That's pretty good. I'd like to go up one more or two more even. Yeah, we'll 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 pay we'll put in the uh, last chance. Okay, so we'll add another. Let's see, we'll add another two to that. So now we're at six versus two. Uh, minus three, so that is a success. So we defeat the Shadow Hound as well. Okay, so Jenny has um, rushed in and uh, helped out Patrice here. Okay, this is good. So Patrice does isn't swarmed anymore, so she's free to um, either maybe shrivel this thing or start getting clues. I think getting clues is going to be the way to go. Let's see. I could play the Rite of Seeking, but it's going to take some. I'm going to have to lose some horror. I don't want to do that right now, sadly, because um, she's kind of hurting right now. Look at that. She's got five horror out of seven, and her assets don't have have taken some horror as well. So we need to not use the black book. Uh, I wish I had the violin, because I could discard the winging it and then use it from the bin. But I guess I can play the winging it normally just to get... Yeah, if I use the winging it normally, it'll be... Yeah, the shroud will be zero. And then I could use it from the bin and get three clues total. Uh, and then we could have Jenny we could have Jenny use Lola Santiago, and that'll get all four of the clues. I like it. All right, so Jenny, during all this, is going to use Lola Santiago to get a clue. Okay. 
All right, that looks pretty good. Um, and also, before I forget, let's play this second pickpocketing here. To, ah, let's play this. Ah, let's play. <laughs> I'll just put that right there, and I'll just play this pickpocketing right here. Okay, so that's on the board too. Okay, so we've got a clue using Little Santiago. So we'll go first action, play winging it. So we're going to be testing at three versus zero. That is a success. So we'll take a clue. All right, second action, play winging it from the bin. Okay, again at three versus zero. Um, that's a success because we can't we can't fail that um, we can't fail that just by modifiers. Okay, grab the two clues. This goes back in the deck. Okay, so we could just go after we could go for the circle action using rise to the occasion. Yeah, we've got some clues to help it pass. Okay, so if we do our third action, we'll go to uh, try to light the brazier. So right now she is at its willpower and agility. So right now she's at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine versus 11. Okay, nine versus 11. Um, I'm not sure how her base skill value is gonna work. I'll assume that rise to the occasion counts her base skill value as six versus a difficulty of 11. So that's gonna add five question marks. Pretty good. Okay, so once again, we're at six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus five is 14. So we're gonna be at 14 versus 11. That looks pretty good. Yeah, 14 versus 11, that looks like quite a bit. Do I wanna pitch in anymore? Not really. Um, yeah, we'll just stay at 14 versus 11. Uh, that is a, uh-oh. If this skill test is during a circle action, reveal another token. Uh-oh. So we're at uh, 14 versus 11. We're at 12 versus 11. Ah, uh, we succeed. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so we light this brazier right here. Okay, so that was all, um, all of Patrice's actions. So we've got three of the braziers lit, and oh yeah, I could have spent some of these. That's what I was I was thinking was needed. Okay, so enemies go. All right, uh, Hunter's Hunt, so he goes here. Uh, he stays where he is, and now we do cards and resources. Okay, so let's draw a card and get two resources. I don't know if Jenny's 2045 is gonna be needed this game. Well, after I play some easy marks, yeah, maybe it will. I'll be able to more afford it. All right, so we get a new hand and get a resource. Ooh, Peter Sylvester, how nice to see you. Okay, six cents, you are less necessary now. Holy Rosary is nice to see though. Okay, all right, new turn. We're gonna be at three doom out of 10. And let's see what kind of encounter cards we get. Realm of Torment, ouch. Resolve each haunted ability on your location. Not again, oh yeah, this is gone too. Okay. All right. Ugh, that's not good. Yep, can't cancel that. Ooh, Fate of All Fools. Ouch. So, uh, oh, this isn't good. If another Fate of All Fools gets drawn, she gets hit for six damage. Uh, so Jenny is really on thin ice here. Yeah, she takes if she takes any damage, she is in big trouble. Okay, so I think... She's gonna have to make it a priority to play the uh, Haunted Mirror to stay fully healed because she's she's due to take a lot of damage. Okay. All right, so Realm of Torment. If Patrice starts her turn, we're gonna resolve either place a gem on this location or take a damage in a horror and that's gonna attack. So she's looking at some pain. We can reduce this pain by having Jenny go first and getting rid of the Nether, nether Mist. That is so inefficient because we'd have to attack twice against a three. We'd have to spend all three of our actions getting rid of that. And that doesn't solve the problem of the watchers coming. Okay. We could just take the doom. Uh, we could get rid of Peter this turn too. Yeah, and then make room for... Oh, we can get rid of David and make room for Peter. Okay, we'll do that. So we're going to have Jenny go first just to get an action window open. That way, um, just so during Jenny's turn, this action window will open and we'll take two resources off of David Renfeld. All right, so Jenny's turn is started. I'm thinking we need to evade this guy and then probably make our way over here. 
or there, over here, because Jenny's got a um, fingerprint kit in hand. However, I think for this turn, we're going to go first action, play, play an easy mark. So two resources and a card, because we need to refill, then get another res then uh, get another res easy mark. Okay. All right, so now we're a bit more armed up. Suggestion is also really nice to see. Hmm. I wish we had another action. So I'm thinking we'll go second action move, engage the Spectral Watcher, and then third action I think I'll evade the Spectral Watcher. Okay, so if I go to evade him, I am at four, five versus three. Six, seven versus three. Yep, that feels a lot better. Seven versus three. Feel good. Oh, wow, we succeed by a million. Okay, so we trigger both pickpocketings. I don't want any more cards, so I'll just take two resources off those pickpocketings. Yeah, I don't want more cards right now. Because I'm, I'm going to have a full hand anyway. And I won't use the lucky cigarette case. And he's evaded, which is really good. Okay, so that was Jenny's three actions. Okay, so Patrice, at the start of Patrice's turn, she is going to take two damage and two horror. Or we got to put a doom on this. Is this the last agenda? It is. Ooh. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe I can afford to put a doom. Okay, so if we, get, we can get rid of David Renfeld and then take it. Yeah, we'll just. So we're going to take two damage and two horror. One of each is going to go on David Renfeld. Okay, thank you for your service, David. All right, the, and then we're going to go probably one on Miss Doyle and one on Agatha Parker. Yeah, because she's, she's not looking so good here. Okay. First action, play Peter Sylvester. Okay, now we can actually use our black book too. I like it. In fact, I'm going to go while we're here. I'm going to go second action, put two horror on Peter to play Holy Rosary. Okay, I like that as well. And then third action, let's get moving over to where we need to get. I'm thinking the unvisited, that unvisited aisle. Or if she stays behind, she can hold this for a sec. Hmm, since it's the close inv closest investigator. Yeah, since she's the closest investigator, she'll hold it down for a moment. Yeah, let's do that. Take a resource with our third action. Okay, so that is all our actions. And if her turn, Peter heals. That's good. That relieves a lot of our pressure. Okay. So, uh, enemies, hunters hunt, and then attack. Nothing happens there. So now we um, refresh everything, including this. Okay. Now, cards. Oh, she was supposed to make this test. That's what I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. All right, I'll pitch in the blinding light to help. So she's going to be at four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Okay, she succeeds. Okay, so that's gone. All right, now we get cards and resources. Card, resources. Now she's got to discard something here. I think I'll discard this enchanted blade. Yeah, I would normally discard the Derringer, but I like how it's going to give us extra actions. Yeah, it'll give us extra actions. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'll discard that. It's also an agility pip in case we need it. Okay, and over here we get a new hand. Okay, we got an open gate, which I don't think we need. Recall the future is always nice. Six cents, I don't think we're going to need this game. Because we don't have, we only have like four more clues to get total. And Jenny's on, about to be on the case. Do we have a wing it in the discard? I didn't think so. No, we don't. Okay. So, new turn. Three doom out of ten. Another whippoorwill. Okay, we're going to leave that behind. And we've got a crypt chill. Ooh. Discarding a resource if we fail. I think we might chuck the lucky cigarette case if we fail this. Because, yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll chuck that. We have a full hand. That's why. So this isn't helping us that much right now. Okay, so right now we are at three versus four. Yeah, I'll just take it on the chin. 
Okay, so we just fail, you know, just fail normally. So we'll lose our lucky cigarette case. Okay. All right, so Jenny needs to evade this guy. So, and then probably move over here and play the fingerprint kit. That being said, getting the suggestion down is also a good call. Yeah, because that can help us block attacks. Because if she gets attacked, she is in trouble. All right, so I'll, I'll do that, actually. Another possibility is I could use Evade Elusive at this point, but that'll just leave him here, and he'll just run around and cause trouble. Yeah, he'll come and attack us. Okay. Patrice can come shrivel this guy. Uh, let's have Jenny evade it, because she gets money when she evades. Okay, so let's have Jenny evade. If Jenny evades, she's currently at 5 versus 3. 7 versus 3 with High Roller. I like my odds. All right, let's do it. Evade at 7 versus 3. Okay, minus 3, so that is a success by 1. I'll go ahead and get 2 resources off of Pickpocketing, and then 3 resources off of High Roller. Okay, so this guy is evaded. Okay. I think we need to go over here and get some clues. Yeah, and then eventually we'll get to that circle test. Okay, second action, move here. And let's get that, sh we'll get that, um, let's get this on the board. That'll help protect us against, yeah, it helps pr protect us against attacks and protect, protect us from this damaging us. Okay, so that is all three of her actions. Patrice is gonna come over and help, I think. We don't need the open gate because all these things are connected. We could play Recall the Future. You'd have to take a horror to do it, though. Well, not necessarily. We also have Live and Learn. Maybe she can pitch all her stuff into the uh, into a circle test. Okay, she's not as good as she. Ooh, she's actually pretty. Might be pretty decent at this one. Okay, so against this circle test, she is four, five, six. She's at six versus ten on this one. This one, she's at two, six, seven, eight, nine versus eleven on this one, and we can just drop clues into it. I kind of like my odds here. Yeah, so if she goes move, brazier, move again. Or move brazier, uh, move, play, recall the future. We can let Peter take a horror to give us a discount. I like it. Okay, so first action, we're going to use the black book um, to get a one unit, one resource discount on recall the future. Okay, second action, head over here. Okay, and third action, we're going to take this, um, we're going to take this test. Okay, so we're called the future. Let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, so I think we're going to be naming the minus four because everything else is three or you know is three or lower. That skull, although that skull is really nasty because it makes a redraw. So let's name skull to deal with the problem of this of you know that redraw from the skull. All right, so we want to be kind of we want to be four over if we can. All right, so we are at four. This is yep. So we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're currently at nine versus eleven. All right. If we bent, if we burn three clues, that each spending each clue lowers the difficulty by th by each clue lowers the difficulty by two. So instead of being at nine versus eleven, we're at nine versus five, which is exactly where we want to be. All right. And then we'll name Skull with Recall the Future. Okay. That is a to totally a success. So we light this brazier. All right, so that was first action, recall the future, second action, move, third action, light the brazier. So that is all of our actions. All right, hunters. This guy is going to have to investigate the location with the most clues, so he's going to go here. Okay, this guy is just going to follow. We'll, we'll choose uh, Patrice for him to follow. He's going to end up refreshing during upkeep. So now we'll draw cards and get resources. Okay, so we're back up to eight cards, and then Patrice gets a new hand. Peter heals. Very important right now. Okay. Ooh, Zeal. That's nice to see. He will fight things. He can fight that whipper well. All right. Go, Zeal. All right. New turn. We are at 40 out of 10. Let's see what kind of bad news we get here. Another whipper will. Ooh, a plague. 
and a shadow hound okay so we have stuff to deal with that one is okay she can just evade that we also have this thing to worry about that is a problem Okay, so Jenny wants to evade the Shadowhound, play Fingerprint Kit, and start investigating. Patrice wants to maybe move Shrivel Shrivel, the Spectral Watcher. Yeah, she's got to keep it off of Jenny, because if it attacks Jenny, she takes a whole bunch of damage. No way of winning it now, though. Yeah, maybe we can let this engage Patrice when... The time comes although this is going to be a problem if patrice meets up with jenny jenny's going to start this is going to they're going to follow okay so it might be time for zeal to do some work i could go play zeal as a fast action engage a whippoorwill as a first action use zeal to scratch it get rid of it as a second action third action Ooh. man dealing with whippoorwills is kind of uh, it's kind of inefficient because there's so many actions Hmm. Move shrivels, moving shriveling and shriveling the uh, special watcher isn't so bad and then we can let the wh whippoorwills follow and then maybe next turn Patrice can just really pitch into dealing with it alright or I can shrivel once with emergency cash no that sounds good first action emergency cash Okay, uh, play Zeal for free. Okay. Or I can just have her have her get rid of a whipper wheel with Zeal and then have this hunt Patrice. Okay, that sounds fine actually. That actually does sound fine. Okay, second action, we'll scratch a whipper wheel. Alright, so Patri so Zeal is at five. Minus two makes three from two whipper wheels. So right now we're at three versus two. Okay, before we do that, let's let Premonition guide our destiny. Okay, so that's going to be a minus two on this check. All right. So we need to be two over. Okay. If I use Zeal, I'm at three versus two. So I'm one over right now. I can just name Skull with Recall the Future. Ta-da! All right, so I'll name Skull with Recall the Future. Sk um... Skull fires, I exhaust recall the future, the skull effectively becomes a zero. So we succeed, we uh, get rid of our premonition, and we scratch a whippoorwill. Oh, I had to go, right, I had to go first action, in, first action emergency cash, second action engage a whippoorwill, third action scratch the whippoorwill. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay, so cat scratch, taken care of. All right, Peter's going to heal. Okay, so now she's in a good position to be able to deal with the to take a couple hits from the special watcher because she has a lot of her health left and um, Peter can um, yeah and Peter can take the horror. It is not a monster, so Agatha won't help. Okay, so over to Jenny. Jenny needs to probably evade this thing, play a fingerprint kit, start getting clues. Yeah, because evading is good for her. She gets money when she evades. In fact, Valentino can just make it difficulty zero. That looks really good. All right, so we're at four versus one to evade. Okay. We'll use Valentino to make it difficulty zero. So we are at four versus zero to evade. Okay. Uh, we still succeed at zero versus zero. So we will take two resources. Okay. So we get back our two resources that we spent on using Valentino. That wasn't the best. Oh, well. Okay. That was our first action. Second action, play fingerprint kit. Okay. Third action, use the fingerprint kit. So now we are... Ooh, it's difficulty four. Okay, so what do I need to put in to make this work? Difficulty four. Ooh. Okay, so I'm at five versus four. Seven versus four with high roller. I'll take the chance. Okay. Do, do, do. So we are at seven versus four. Okay, hope for the best. Success by quite a bit, so we get two clues. All right, that is good. Okay, so we evaded, we played a fingerprint cat, and we investigated, so we are in good shape. All right, Hunter's going to hunt. Now, uh, that's the end of our turn, so Hunters are going to hunt. So this will come over here, engage Patrice. We'll do a damage to Patrice. Let's make it a damage to um, Agatha Parker, 
and a horror to Peter Sylvester. Okay, that's not too bad for her. Okay, now we're gonna do um, upkeep. So we're gonna refresh all this great stuff. Get this back. Okay, and then we're gonna draw cards and get resources. Nothing else hunts. Yeah. Okay, so we're back to a full hand. Yep, and we get a new hand for Patrice. Ah, uh oh. What card went under there? I'm guessing it was that right of seeking. Yeah, because. Okay, so what do we got? Ooh, we've got the tower. That's no good. Well, we don't have much to commit anyway, so maybe the tower is fine. Okay, so that ends the turn. We now go to 5 Doom out of 10, moving right along here. Ancient Evils, we're now at 6 Doom out of 10. Okay, and then, oh gosh. Oh gosh. So let's just make a pile of all of Jenny's damage. Ooh, whoops, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. <laughs> and that's going to surge. Yikes. Oh, we got another Spectral Raven. Okay, so we either must resolve each Haunted Ability on our location, or it gets tougher. All right, so if we... Okay, we don't want to resolve Haunted Abilities, because, yeah, she'll get attacked. Um, which wouldn't be too bad, because she it would just lose a Suggestion Charge. I think I'll do that, actually. Okay, so we'll let... Um, if we trigger the Haunted Abilities, it means her next move costs an additional action. I don't plan on moving. Okay, and this will attack, so we'll we'll have it lose a suggestion charge. Okay, that means this thing is like easier to deal with. Okay, because that thing I want to kill. This thing I'm more, I'm okay with evading because it is three hit points. All right, so what do we need to do? Um, Patrice needs to get rid of this thing, or like evade it, or do something to it. And then maybe like track shoes away. Well, that seems fine. Jenny needs to kill this thing, evade this thing, and then look for more clues. I think. Yeah, it seems like a fine idea. Okay, so let's have... Pat I'd like for Patrice to help Jenny. So I think what we'll do is if we evade this thing, we would be at... Let's see, we'd be at three versus four versus three to evade. I can't pitch anything in, so that's not so great. I could go Shrivel, Shrivel, Cat Scratch. Hmm. Okay, so if I were to try to evade, I'd be at four versus three. Three versus three, thanks to the Whippoorwill. That's kind of ugly. Hmm. Three versus three is kind of bad, and I can't boost it because of uh, the tower. I could move away from the whip. I could move away from the whippoorwill, taking an AO. Put it in Jenny Square. Maybe Jenny can help. Doesn't seem like the worst plan, actually. Yeah, and then maybe we can finish it off this turn. Like move, evade. Maybe move evade, get right of seeking down, because we don't know if there's we don't know if there's gonna be any clues here. And Jenny's about to run out gonna run out of her second fingerprint kit if there are clues there. Alright, let's do it. Get away from this thing. So first action we'll move, we'll take an AO. So it's going to deal a damage to Patrice and a horror to Peter, which I'm not so worried about. Okay. Second action will evade. We're not. We're currently at four versus three. Let's go up to six versus three. Success. So he's evaded. All right. Now we're back together again. Third action. Maybe she can help by shriveling, or maybe it's time to put down right of seeking. Let's deal with the immediate problem. So I'll shrivel the raven. I can shrivel the shadowhound. Everything needs to be shriveled. Shadowhound's easier to evade, so I'll just shrivel the raven. Okay, so if I shrivel the raven, I'm at four, five, six, seven versus two, which is about as good as it gets. 
uh, super success, and I get to shuffle my whole deck in. So this is gone. All right. And I get to shuffle all but one card back into the deck. I will shuffle all but Hypochondria. Yeah, it's worth putting the Spectral, putting the spectral Watcher back in is okay, because um, she's kind of hurting on Horror right now. And Spectral Watcher doesn't hurt immediately. Okay, so that was all three of her actions. I think I was supposed to spend a charge there. Okay. Peter heals. Right. Okay, so over to Jenny. I'd like to evade this thing. So evade it at four versus one. Yeah, I don't think I want to use Valentino here. Yeah, I'll use Valentino. Okay, so we are at four versus zero. That's a success. So we get two resources back from, we get two resources from pickpocketing. So he's evaded. Okay, now let's get the clues. So if we use our fingerprint kit, we're gonna be at five, six, seven. Yeah, there we go. So now we're at seven versus four. Hmm. Eight versus four with right of seeking. That seems pretty good actually. Yep, succeed. So we get both of these clues and we get back our high roller resources. Now do I go for the Unvisited Isle? Okay, so if I go for Unvisited Isle, we are at three, six, seven, eight. We are at eight versus 10. And then we just make it difficulty zero with the clues. That actually seems pretty good. <laughs> now we'll do eight versus 10 and then we'll go, we'll spend three clues, so that way we're four over. Or we can save our clues. No, she can't help out that much. Okay, we'll spend three clues, and now we are four over. Okay, that's a minus three, so we succeed, and we've lit that brazier. Okay, so that is all five of the braziers, so I think we advance. Yep. What happens? Against the witches. After nearly... Do you have to advance immediately? Because I don't want to... Objective. Oh, we don't have to advance yet. All right, I'll wait till I've got a free set of actions. Okay. All right, so that is all our actions. We evaded, we investigated, and we let the brazier. Okay, that seems pretty good. All right, so let's, um, hunters are gonna hunt. So this guy comes over here, We've got a nice pile of baddies. And then we're gonna refresh everything. And including these two, uh, we'll put this on Patrice because we don't want it attacking. Yeah, because this only blocks elite attacks. Okay, now we'll get cards and resources. Okay, so we get card. Ooh, Izzy. That is going to be useful. And we'll get a new hand. Okay, what do we got? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not supposed to be in here. That's supposed to be in the discard pile. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. We can cover treacheries. All right, new turn. We are at seven doom out of 10, so we got to really roll here. Fate of all fools. Okay, um, that seems awful, so let's cancel that. Okay, sadly, we're going to put a horror on Peter. Okay, what do we got over here? Mark for death. Oh, no. So it's going to be evasion at five versus four. And if she fails, she takes a whole bunch of damage. I could just cancel it, uh, but I'd probably, I'd be at, I could just use pre premonition here, five versus four. Seven versus four, eight versus four. Yep, we'll go for it. Oh no. <laughs> So she's going to take six damage. What? Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. That's awful. Maybe I should have just canceled it. Okay. So that's the treacheries. Yeah, I should have just cancel it then. Yuck. All right. So let's advance against the witches. 
After nearly an hour spent searching through the dense mist, you finally arrive at the site of the Lodge's ritual, only to find it in chaos. Members of the Silver Twilight Lodge, each wearing robes of blue and silver, are embroiled in battle with the witches. Complete the ritual, Carl Sanford commands you from across the clearing. It is the only way. Annette turns her attention to you, shocked and angered. You again. I warned you we would not show mercy if we met a second time. She calls to her coven. Sisters, we must not let them interfere this time. Do not let their circle close. So re reveal the Geist Trap location and move each investigator at an unvisited aisle location to the Geist Trap. All right. So it's got two clues on it. It's worth a victory point. So that's cool. All right. So they we get moved. Okay. Check campaign log. The Witcher spell was not cast. So we spawn what a set aside coven initiate at the Geist Trap. All right. We can do that. Where do they go? That's going to be Annette's coven. Okay. Set aside one. Yep. Coven initiate at the Geist Trap. Okay. So this is going to engage somebody. Shuffle each remaining set aside witch enemy into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Okay. So that's going to be Annette's coven as well as Annette herself. They are all. They're all going into that encounter deck. Okay, it's getting pretty big here. Okay, so this is going to engage somebody. Yeah, we can go ahead and we'll have an engage Patrice, I think. Yeah, because if... Oh yeah, these are gone now. So they also get shuffled into the encounter deck. Jenny is not feeling so good. Yeah, that's the one, right? Ugh, not good. She's on her last legs. Okay, so what do we got here? The Binding Rite, Act 4. At the center of the clearing lies the Spectral Trap, a pillar of ghostly energy which swirls about a stone obelisk. Hundreds of phantasmal faces and a conglomeration of rotted limbs and flesh intertwine within, a revolting display of death and despair. An unlit silver brazier stands in front of the pillar, ready for you to act. Okay, so during a circle action, we can spend clues to reduce the difficulty... Okay, and if the Spectral Watcher is defeated at the Geist Trap while the bla Brazier there is lit, we advance. Okay, so we need to defeat this guy. Where'd he go? We need to defeat this guy while this, well, after this is lit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a circle test at difficulty 20. Oh my goodness. Okay, but it's worth some victory points, so we should go for it. All right. So we've done our encounter cards. So we just need to blast a lot of things, evade some things, and get this, get these clues and get this thing taken care of. Okay, so we've got a lot to do here. Let's let this premonition be our guide to uh, how this is going to go. All right, so the first check we make is going to be difficult. Is going to be pulling a zero. I think let's try to do the. Um, that'll be nice to help us dial the uh, the circle test. And I think we're gonna have Jenny do it. Okay, that seems good. Okay, so it's all your stats at 20. All right, who's better at it? All right, so Jenny is currently at 12, 13, 14, 15 versus 20. Okay, and then of course we can pitch stuff in. She's at 15 versus 20. Patrice is currently at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 versus 20, but she has guys, she has things to deal with. 16 versus 20, and she can't pitch in to uh, put, it, put herself over the top. Okay, so Jenny's gonna have to make, gonna have to do the test. All right, we'll have Jenny do the test. Ooh, but that's gonna provoke. All right. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, I screwed that up. I should have. Uh, I shouldn't have played that first. I should have evaded and then played the premonition because of the circle test. Because right now, if I evade this guy. Um, Right now, if I evade this guy, it uh, that'll burn the zero. So I think what I'll do is I'll provoke an AO from him and use a suggestion charge to block it. That I think that's how this is going to have to go, because I made that mistake there. Okay, we'll do that. All right, so first action, we're going to make the circle test. We are at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 with high roller. Or we can just pitch cards in and use high roller later when we have some uncertainty. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to pitch some cards in. <coughs> Am I going to need another weapon? Probably not. Do I want to have to make that? It's difficulty four. If I save, I can save the intel report for um, getting those two clues. Oh, right. We can put in, we can put these in. What am I thinking? Can any... 
during a circle action, spin the glue. So any one of us can do it. Oh, this is perfect. All right, so what we can do, oh, she has no clues. So what we'll do is if we go 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, or I can go, yeah, make that effectively 19, and we'll put in just a card, put in overpower. Actually, we'll put in the elusive, because I don't think we're going to use the elusive, because we want everything is happening here. All right, so we go to 17 with the elusive, and we lower the difficulty of the test down to 16. We cash in our zero, and we succeed. Okay, so we have lit the brazier as Jenny's first action. Oh, this guy attacks, gives an attack of opportunity, so I'll get rid of the, a suggestion charge. Okay, so that is our first action. Okay, now we just need to defeat, we need to get those clues and defeat the Spectral Watcher. Okay, do I evade this Shadowhound? Yeah, Haunted's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, we don't want this attacking. Oh, that would cause her to take a damage in a horror. Oops. Oh, I screwed that up. I Do I cancel the attack entirely? Yeah, I cancel the attack. Okay, so that never occurred. Whew. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll evade this thing and then get the clues. And then Patrice can start blasting. Or I can evade this thing and start blasting now and then Patrice can continue to blast seems fine too. We've also got Patrice can also do Tron to the Flame. Well we gotta get evade this guy because if he attacks that's bad. Okay so we'll evade this guy we'll use Valentino and let's not use Valentino let's use Exhaust Suggestion so we're gonna be at six seven eight eight versus one. Why wasn't I doing that all along? Okay success so we'll get two cards and two clues. Okay all right. Two cards include two resources, that is. He's evaded. That's our second action. Okay, third action. I can help out an, um, Patrice by attacking. Which actually seems pretty good because I got this high roller ready to go. Okay, third action attack. So we're currently at five, six, seven versus two success so she takes out the covenant initiate okay and gets her high roller resources back all right so that was jenny's turn okay we're in good shape here good shape okay does that work on any test during skill test you are performing okay so patrice all she we need to get these clues we need to blast this guy so we don't want him to uh hmm so i think we want to evade him this turn if we evade him, we're at four versus three. Jenny can probably help put in the twin 45s because we're not going to need him. Four, we'll be at seven versus three. Okay, I like this. It'll also uh, nullify his retaliate that he gets from here. Okay. So we're at seven versus three. Okay, that is a success. So he is evaded. Okay. Now I think we start shriveling. Next turn we can uh, have Jenny get the clues with Intel Report and finish him off. Okay, second turn, uh, second action will shrivel. So if we shrivel, we're at four, five, six, seven, seven versus three. That's pretty good. That's still a success, so we um, deal two damage to this guy. Oh, he just wants to snap to the grid and wants to be at that um, unvisited location. All right, third action. I think we'll uh, shrivel again. Okay, same, seven versus three. That is a success, so we do two more damage to him. Okay, we've, al we've almost got him down. Okay. Oh, but that was a tablet, so we're going to take a horror. Ooh. All right, hopefully we don't take any direct horror. <laughs> this is it. 
<clears throat> also, he has one hit point, so we can let Zeal cat scratch him, finish him off. All right, so that is all our actions. Peter heals. So Hunter's Hunt. So that's going to be these two. Yuck. Okay, so we got this nice party going on at the uh, at the ghost trap here. Oh, we want to get rid of the Nezermiss too, but I think we might be running out of time. All right, we're going to refresh stuff. Okay, including this, which will have you engage, and this, which will have have that engage you. Okay, then we're going to draw cards and get resources. Ooh, that's nice to see. Okay, new turn. I uh, sorry, new hand. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, all right, that'll be handy. Okay, new turn. We are at eight doom out of ten. Okay, Let's see what we get. Ooh, fate of all fools. Oh, that would just take out Jenny. Oh, because if I get another copy of Fate of All Fools in the Threader, it takes two direct damage. Uh-oh. I think we're going to have to put a Doom on her copy of Fate of All Fools, so we are in the Witching Hour now. we got to get this done. Uh-oh. She fails this. She's, she doesn't die. Right, that's good. She doesn't... Yeah, she's fine. Okay, we've also got... Um, oops, we've also got High, um, Sir Gamble to help help save us here. Okay, so right now she has a difficulty four evasion test. She is currently at five. Five versus, we're at five versus four. Okay, let's use high roller at this point. Okay, five versus four, uh, five, six, seven versus four. That feels pretty good. If we get the minus four, we'll just burn our sure gamble. Okay, that's good stuff. Okay, so we're in the witching hour. We need to end this. We have six actions to get these two clues to get a victory point. It would cost us three actions to deal with this nether mess, so we might be able to actually pull this off. Okay, the Cat of Ulthar is uh, cautioning against this. Hmm, we also need to evade this thing, because if he attacks, that's bad. Okay. So if I go, let's see, can we get all th can we uh, deal with this thing and get all these clues and finish this guy off? Let's find out. So it's going to take three actions to deal with this guy. Uh, one action to deal with this guy. One action to deal with this guy. One action to deal with this guy. Problem is, we only have, we can't we don't have six actions to like spend as we wish. We have to. We only have three of each. So, if Jenny were to go, evade, get clues, engage. Patrice could go. Up, oh, she's out of shriveling. So that wouldn't even really help. So I think we're just going to have to go for it and forget about this nether mist and forget about this victory point. Okay, so we're going to go first action. Well, do we even have to evade this guy? I could just use the suggestion. Yeah, I'll evade this guy. Yeah, I wanted to get that nether mist. That would have been really nice. Yeah, we're out of two. We don't have a lot of two damage shots left. So I think we're just going to have to. Oh, hello. Engage, blinding light. Nah, I don't think this is gonna work. We just have that whipper will to deal with. Okay, so we're gonna go first section evade the shadow hound. We'll use Valentino because I don't want to screw it up. All right, so we are gonna be currently at three, four, five. Oh, forgot about the whipper will. So four versus zero. That is still a success. So we evade this guy. Um, draw two cards and get two resources. I would rather not draw cards and get get any weaknesses, so I'll just take two resources. Okay, that was first action. Second action, I will buy the two clues. Okay, with um, with Intel report. Okay, and I think third action we're gonna try to finish finish off this. Um, we'll try to finish off the spectral watcher. Okay, here we go. Put everything into it. Okay, so we're currently at five, four versus three. We'll go four, five, six versus three, seven versus three. Just go for it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we have defeated the Spectral Watcher. So we, uh, we've lit the Brazier at the Geist Trap. We have defeated the Spectral Watcher, so we advance. Is that correct? Yep. 
Disillusion. The watcher wails in agony as the shadow wreath around its form is pulled away, exposing its true form. You and the members of the lodge surround the shattered soul to prevent it from escaping. Resolution one. So we did it. That that went pretty well. Um, things were getting really dicey for our health and sanity values, and wow, we were really low on time here. But um, we managed to get those circle tests uh, pretty well because I think our crew, our two of, are pretty good at getting clues. And um, those clues were able to get us to light the last braziers there. So that actually uh, that actually went pretty well. I think the two of them, their decks are getting pretty good and pretty efficient. I'm noticing these pickpocketings are pretty pretty awesome, <laughs> actually. That is really cool. Okay, so um, let's go to resolution one and we'll see what happens. Okay, resolution one. The Revenant thrashes and writhes in torment, unable to escape with his connection to the spectral realm torn away. Carl Sanford steps forward, opens a thick leather tome, and the ghost's memories, along with the remainder of its form, are unceremoniously pulled into its pages. What have you done? Annette yells. Several of her coven surround her. They are embattled, but you have no doubt they would lay down their life to protect their high priestess from harm. What have I done? Why, I have cheated the devil. Sanford responds with a sinister grin. You notice the words of his tome are now glowing with a spectral radiance. Kaziah signed the Black Book of Azatoth in order to learn the secrets of the universe. A fatal error in my estimation, for it put her in the clutches of one far more powerful than she. He begins to read from the pages as he explains further. She paid the price, but I shall reap the harvest. Annette clutches her jaw and turns toward you. You cannot even begin to fathom the secrets this monster now possesses. Do you truly believe he will use this power for good, she asks? And this is the moment when um, Diana Stanley um, you know, is in, has been participating in the battle as well. So she looks to them, you know, just to, with like, almost like an I told you so look. And uh, so they, uh, they, they, they agree with Annette. They, um, Jenny and Patrice don't think that he will actually use this power for, for good, even if he thinks he will. He probably won't. So we go to resolution three. Annette is right. Sanford tricked you. This was what he was after all along. Perhaps he considers this protecting humanity, but the truth is that he has endangered the lives of others over and over again in order to serve his own greed and lust for power. You shake your head. A pity, Mr. Sanford complains. I thought you were smarter than this. You take several steps back, retreating to where the witches are gathered. Sanford turns to the other members of his order and points to you. Kill them, he commands. Aaron, give us cover, Annette barks to the red-haired witch next to her. The witch nods in response and waves a wooden rod in front of her, creating a cloud of mist that masks your presence. We have to get out of here. Go, Annette yells. Your escape is a blur. Robed members of the Silver Twilight Cult chase you relentlessly throughout the Forsaken Woods. You are only barely able to make it back to the shore before they catch up to you. You motion for Annette and the others to join you, but she shakes her head. We will meet again soon. The edges of the witch's cloaks bleed into the night sky, and with a swirl of darkness, they vanish one by one. Okay, so we uh, Carl Sanford now possesses the secrets of the universe by binding Keziah Mason herself, who uh, had signed the Black Book of Azatoth and gained tons and tons of power. So now he's bound her, so he's got the power of that Kazi all of Keziah's abilities. That does not sound good. When you finally return to the banks of the Miskatonic River, you take stock of the situation. Okay, so we didn't have the puzzle box, um, and we checked the missing persons. So um, Valentino is alive, so anyone investigator may add Valentino to his or her deck. Okay, uh, so, and then we get experience equal to the Victrix Valley of each card and the victory display. So we didn't kill this, but we have one, two, three, four, five victory points. Is that correct? I think that we've got five. The Watcher wasn't worth any victory points, was it? No, I didn't think so. Looks like we got five, five victory points. Okay, that's not so bad. It's pretty good, actually. All right, and that, okay, so that wraps up Union and Disillusion. So we've had quite a plot twist here. We, um, we've managed to bind the uh, Spectral Watcher and prevent it from, um, prevent it, we've ended its reign of terror over Arkham City this, uh, this winter. But now we've got um, the president of the Silver Twilight Lodge is, uh, has now, he now has all the secrets of the universe and he doesn't like us very much. So we'll, um, we'll see what the repercussions are when, uh, we'll, we'll see what the repercussions are next episode.
So once again, uh, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great night.